Fresco Knights, welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni, the w Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. In between episodes, I went and I evolved Squishy. And I also caught uh, Lothar to finish off this quest here. Excellent! Oh yes, look just, uh, just look at that. My my, well now, this is unexpected. Hmm, I have of course observed this phenomenon before. I think you'll find this very interest intriguing indeed. This could well cement my standing at the top of the familiological fraternity once and for all. I'm getting rather excited, you know. Don't get too carried away, Darwin. It's cold out here. You might get sick if you stay outside too long. He's right, you know. You won't be much good to the familiological fraternity frozen into a block of ice, will you? Ha! I think you'll find it will take a little more than sub-zero temperatures to deter a dedicated researcher such as myself. What's the flippin' point, Mon? He never listens to a word we flippin' say. Oh, here. Oh, cool. Some jumbo drops. Um... I know we had... Did we have any more of these? No, we didn't. Okay. I know we have, yeah, the one in the cave. And then... Oh. Oh well, um, let's go ahead and we gotta go to Hamlin, so off we go! Also down below you'll notice I added uh, to the overlay what monsters I have so everyone knows. Because I figure people will get curious. Oh, it's that researcher. I was just going to skip, but now it's the... One that's trying to make his sister feel better. Hello. Is there no end to my trials? And just when I had finally prepared the medicine, is something the matter, sir? I'm afraid things are looking rather bleak. With your assistance, I had finally managed to prepare the medicine for my poor ailing sister. Really? Wow! Congratulations, sir! Now you just have to get it to her. Well, yes, but there's the rub. The seas between here and Castaway Cove have been plagued by pirates of late. They say it is too perilous for ships to set sail. Jeepers, that's awful, but isn't there some other way to get that medicine to your sister? I have racked my brains, but cannot think of one. I have even considered swimming all the way there. For my poor sister, I would do anything. Whoa, well, but you can't swim all the way from here to Castaway Cove. Hang on, before you go dust it off your swimming shorts, why not let us take care of those pirates for you, right, Ollie boy? Really? You would take on those scoundrels yourselves? But they're cold blood killers. Don't you worry about us, they don't stand a chance against Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and his faithful human sidekick. Well, if you're sure, I would be deeply indebted to you. Pirates are plaguing the sea route to Castaway Coves. Reports say there are a total of four ships in their fleet. Please, do be careful, won't you? Don't worry about us, those pirates won't know what hit them, will they, Ollie boy? Um, okay. Well, let's... From here to Castaway Cove, huh? Let's go, just go straight to Castaway Cove and kill. Now the question is, where are these said pirate? Oh, there's one. There's two. There's three. Oh, there's zombies. Ow. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. All good. Three remain. I'm assuming the fourth one's gonna appear after I kill the other three. Fancy your chances, do you? Confused that one, so he was just out of the fight for a while there. Um, okay, well, they're dead. One more, and then we got the big boss. Personal kill. Hey, can you, Esther? Okay, now where is this fourth ship? There it is. Dang it. Punk. Captain Zombo, I thought we were gonna see him. Ow. Take a nap, don't worry. Ow. <laughs> this Griffin is ridiculously powerful. One damage. I don't. And metamorph are you done pompadour <laughs> looks like it all right i already know what i'm gonna make you let's see you need a moon you're becoming a pomegranate let me pause this real quick um There we go. We just need one more evolution with Mlurm. Travel 
back to Hamlin. Good, good. So, anyone who's watching this, if you've played, what monsters did you use? I kind of regret grabbing the Snowhawk. It's not very good. Uh, oh, we gave the pirates what for? Wish you could have been there to see me in action. I gave them a left, then a right, then another left. Hundreds of them there were. No thousands. They were no match for a fairy's fury. Chucked them all overboard, I did. Don't exaggerate, Mr. Drippy. You were just watching most of the time. Flippin' heck, Ollie boy. You really know how to pick your moments, don't you? You made me look like a bald mouth and no trials ears. Young people today, I ask you. you could, that's because you were. Oh ho ho! You are quite a pairing. I haven't laughed like this in a long time. But you have given me far greater cause to smile than that. Because of you, my sister will have her medicine at last. I am inexpressibly grateful. I would like to thank you for all you have done for me. This is for you. Ooh, a cutlass. One more and that card is done. Oh, that's weaker. 42. 35. 39. I don't understand why this one appears so high up in the list. Hello. Blink. 45 bucks. Gotta walk all the way over to Marcus. Up. Up. guys just passing through I feel that I'm about to get sent on another errand. Guess what, your Prince Leonis? We got all them stones. You have Morningstar's magic stones, so you recovered the map from Kublai? That's right, your highness. Well, actually, he kind of gave it to us. Kublai helped you? The Sky Pirate? He's not a bad sort once you get to know him. He took us under his wing, like, even gave us a dragon to fly about on. Tidy, eh? He gave you a dragon? Can this be true? It's true, your highness. Tengri helped us fly the, or helped us find the three magic stones. We couldn't have done it without him. The problem now is how to stick the stones back into the Morningstar. And I won't lie to you, we don't have the foggiest. We were kind of hoping you might be able to help us, your highness. Please, give me the wand of the stones. I wish to examine them. Hmm, this is rather tr a tricky one. Oh, don't tell me you can't help us either. The stones are just too big, aren't they? Well, if it were a mere matter of unifying the sizes of the wand and the stones, my powers would more than suffice. But I am afraid it is not only their dimensions that are out of alignment. There is another problem, one that I lack the ability to resolve. Hang on a minute, are you telling us that it ain't just the wonky sizes we have to worry about? It's never flippin' easy, is it? Ah, I think I've got it. Just think for a moment. When exactly did we hold, get hold of Mornstar? It was when we were sent to the, back to the past, which means um, the problem may stem from attempting to join the Morningstar of 15 years past, 
with the stones you obtained here in the present. As long as there is this time difference, so to speak, it may not be possible to unite them. So we need to find Mornstar here in the present? If only it were that simple. I had my men search for it, but it seems it had been destroyed. Not a trace of it remains in our time. Hold on, we brought it with us from the past, so surely it makes sense that it does ex exist in the present as well. Oh yeah, wait, what? Hold on, hold on, this is all getting a bit too flippin' complicated for me. There may be one who can help you. I speak of Kulan, one of the of the four great sages. Her magical powers were the most formidable. So if we can find the great sage Kulan, she can help us with Mornstar. We're talking about Kulan, the queen of the heavens, right? She ruled a city in the cloud called Xanadu. But that place was destroyed, yes. Jeepers, her city was destroyed? Well, can it really be five years ago? Yes, it must be. Five years ago, news reached us that Shadar had attacked the celestial citadel of Xanadu. By the time we mustered our forces, it was too late. When Hamlin's airborne divisions arrived, Xanadu had been wiped from the map. I'm afraid I do not know what became of its queen or her, and her subject. But perhaps if you are lucky... Ah, oh, fat chance. It sounds like Shadar dealt with them, just like he dealt with your predecessor. Swain, please. In any case, it is not within my power to help you. For that, I can only apologize. Don't worry, your majesty. There must be another way. I knew it. Well, if we can find Kulan, I guess we'll have to try and... Uh, if we can't find Kulan, I guess we'll have to try another Great Sage. Another? Well, Alicia is no longer with us, which leaves only Rashad. Yes, my father is sure to know something. Your father? Ah, now I see where you get your wisdom. Yes, Rashad may well be able to help you. Haha, uh -huh, thank you, your majesty. Oof, we're not going to find out anything by hanging around here swapping compliments. Let's be off, shall we? Sure, let's go find somebody who can help us. They're out there somewhere. I know, just know they are. They're going to be conveniently out the front door. Watch. Um, wait. Is there, like, a fast travel here? Yes, yes, there is. Gosh, look at her. Hold it. That's not the type of armor you find around these parts. There's no snout, for starters. Hmm, there is sh sure is something strange about her. You mean maybe she's glowing? Hold on, could she be? What is this, Swain? Is she a friend of yours? <laughs> yeah, we go way back. But seriously, it's that armor she's wearing. It's what they wore in Xanadu. You what? But I thought the Xanadu was destroyed. So she's a survivor, is she? There's Lucky. Come on, Ollie boy. Let's find out what our girl's got to say for herself. Let me guess. Yep, spirit medium. Can it be? Can you? Can you see me? Of course we can. Why wouldn't we be able to? Oh, this is marvelous. And you can hear me too. Sure, we can hear you. But if we're using spirit medium to speak to you, it must mean you are correct. I lost my life some time ago. You are the first to notice my presence. Well, we weren't going to miss you in that get-up, were we? So you came from Xanadu, did you? Indeed, the Celestial Kingdom of Xanadu was my home. I was charged with protecting our queen. But Shadar destroyed Xanadu, didn't he? So I guess you, um... No, I did not fall in battle. I was... I was slain by a comrade, a fellow citizen of Xanadu. Huh? What do you mean? What you said was correct. Shard Shadar did indeed lay waste to my home. The fiend made his way into the inner sanctum of the palace, unnoticed by anyone. Our magic had no effect on him. Even the mighty sorcery of Queen Kulan was useless. Kulan, but we heard she had the most powerful magic of all the great sages. Nonetheless, it was of no use. She too was powerless against him. But Shadar did not take our lives. No, he robbed us of something else. He stole our hearts. He took the hearts of all who dwelled in our city. He, he stole all of your hearts? Indeed, and without hearts to call our own, we lacked emotion. We lacked reason. And that was how it came to pass, that... Oh, you said enough. We can imagine what happened then, believe me. Shadar will pay for this. What happened that day, I will never forget. Its horror is forever etched in my memory. That's so horrible, to be killed by one of your own people. I am so sorry. Do not pity me. My people still have hope. Hope? What do you mean? 
Queen Kulan, the Queen of the Heavens, she lives still. Huh? She does, but we thought that... Now, now, now that I go in the spirit realm, I can free her, feel her presence. I can sense my queen's power. For years, I have searched for her without cease, but she is not to be found in this kingdom. I sense her presence somewhere in the, to the north of here, but I sense something else, too. An evil so terrible, I fear to approach it. North of here? Do you mean the Tombstone Trail? Hmm, maybe. Time was there were other kingdoms on this continent. Now there's only Hamlin and the odd town or two. But if she's out there, we have to find her. We've got Tangri. If the Queen of Heavens is somewhere around here, we're sure to find her. I think I know which town. I accidentally walked into it when I was getting those moonstones. Do you mean it? Do you really mean to search for her? You have my eternal gratitude. Don't worry, ma'am. We won't let Shadar get away with what he's done. And besides, we have our own scores to settle with the fiendish scoundrel. Well, stop trying to impress her by sounding all heroic. What he means to say is, leave it to us. I thank you most humbly. I am deeply grateful. Ah, I almost forgot. Should you find Queen Kulan, or any other survivor from Xanadu, would, would you give them this? It was damaged by the fire that swept through our realm, but it is the only remaining proof that my city, and indeed myself, ever existed. Sure, leave it to us. The Wings of Xanadu. That's enough chit-chat for now. It's time to scout or Autumnia. Uh, sure. Travel. Oh, there it is. Pretty duh. What monsters are here? Honeybots? Birds? What is that thing? Snake? Okay. Who goes there? Ah, I see you are not from these parts. How very observant of you. Listen, we'd love to stay in chat, but we've got things to do. This town has been blessed by a higher power. I cannot allow the likes of you to disturb the tranquility of such a sacred place. Gee, sorry, mister. We didn't know, but we're not here to disturb anything. Talk about a warm flippin' welcome. This miserable so-and-so could do with some lessons in hospitality from my dear old man. Cease your senseless witterings. I will not let you pass. Be gone. I have important matters to attend to. The sacred ceremony is about to begin, and Queen Kulan will not be kept waiting. Hang on, did you say Queen Kulan? It's her we're after. Aha, just as I thought. You intend to harm our queen. Well, you shall not do so while I draw breath. No, you've got it all wrong, mister. We just want to speak to her. Somebody told us she was still alive, the person who gave us this medal. But how? Tell me, where did you find this? We met a lady in Hamlin. She was wearing armor just like yours. Can it be? Is she here now? No, she said she wouldn't travel north. I reckon she had enough on her plate already, what with her being dead and all. But this, can it be true? Can she really be gone? It seems our friend here and that mystery woman have some history. I feared she had not escaped, but I cannot allow my feelings to come before my duty. Tell me, what business have you with the queen? There's something we need to ask her. I see. Well, I will let you pass, but I'm afraid you may be out of luck. What? You mean we can't see Queen Kulan? I fear she will have no time for you now. Did I not say that she was preparing to preside over the sacred ceremony? For the time being, take a look around the town and see how it has blossomed since receiving the blessing of the Queen of Heavens. Um... That's a lot of snakes. Perdita, the Lost Land. Okay. I want this. Carnation cake. It's also. Shark chess. Hot-blooded badge. Hot-blooded. Hot-blooded. Wait. 
Patty pig? Wait. There is... But it is just creepy spooky with no music or anything. Hello, hello! Hi! You're, you know, you don't have as much defense as I was expecting. You're a shot. Great sword. That's better than what you have. That's better. It's a lot less accuracy, but a lot more damage. Oh, that's expensive. Um, we'll buy two of these. What about this? So much to buy. Do they never? I'm gonna buy one of these for Oliver. And hopefully that increases movement speed, huh? Sure. I mean, it doesn't hurt. First few things. Oh, these are different. Okay. That'll do. Save! Oh, 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 point. There's a purple chest in there. Snow drop bonbons. I wonder what those are. Game pie. There's two more chests in this town. Well, three, but I can't get the other one. First one. Okay, that sounds good. Spring lock! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Treasure! Thank you. Was it I just got? That is attack. Okay. Here you go. You can have that too. And you get all the magic. Alright. That's magic defense accuracy evasion. You need magic. Okay. God, look at your attack. You are just ridiculous. Okay. To the lady. At least I assume this is the lady. But, actually, one more thing first. You sleep. Uh, the 
page isn't about this town. A lost city. Oh, then I do. The Queen of the Heavens. I trust you had another perfect night's sleep. No. Hmm. There was right here. Hundred bucks. Well, I paid for a third of the inn. And there's the purple chest. Hello. Aye, aye, aye. That guard. What is he thinking? Why has he let in more outsiders? First, there was that giant man, and now children. Um, excuse me, ma'am. We're looking for Queen Kulan. The guard said she was somewhere around here. Hmm, so you have come to receive her blessing? Here we go, a flippin' gain. What's all this about sacred ceremonies and blooming blessings? What is with your eyes, ma'am? You look like you haven't slept in years. Okay, you come to Perdita, yet you know nothing of blessings? Look deep into the eyes of the people here. See how we are blessed. Oh, we've seen them all right. Those people aren't blessed. They're broken-hearted. Seems like some blessings aren't worth counting. Hey, what did the man say, Yaya? Our hearts, they are broken? Pay no attention, Karino. The blessings we have received have lifted the fear from our heart. You know how many towns in this land have been wiped from the map by the Dark Jinn? But you can't just give in. You have to stand up to Shadar. Let me take a look at you, Nino. Ah, you are a wizard, are you not? How can you know what it is to have no magic, no power, nothing but fear in your heart? Well, ma'am, you can't let your heart be broken just because it stops you feeling afraid. He's right. What's the point of a blessing like that? You may as well have your heart broken by Shadar. <laughs> Nina, Carino, it is nearly time for the ceremony to begin. It is finally time for you to join us. It is time for you to be blessed. I, I'm ready, Yaya. Then let us go. We must not keep Queen Kulan waiting. I'm not so sure Queen Kulan's going to be much help, you know. Not if she's the one handing out these so-called blessings. But if we don't do something, that little girl will end up like everybody else. We have to go after them. I'm glad I took it in. Sounds like I'm about to get into a fight. There, there, Nina. It will be over soon. There's a good girl, Carino. Yeah, yeah. May we begin the ceremony? Everything is in order, Queen Kulan. It's her. The Queen of the Heavens. We found Kulan. And she's heartbroken. You can... got a bad feeling about this. Get a load of her eyes, will you? They're all weird. Jeepers, she's brokenhearted. Shadar must have done this when he attacked Xanadu. So now we know why she's been up to no good handing out these so-called blessings. But if we don't do something, Nina will end up brokenhearted too. No, let me go! What is the matter, my child? I don't want to be blessed. I don't need it. I don't want to be brokenhearted. Everyone is wrong. Nina, how dare you say such things in the presence of Queen Kulan? The child refuses my blessings? Then she leaves no choice. For the benefit of this misguided girl, a special ceremony is required. What do you mean to do to her? What's happening? Uh, ha! Whoa. That's not good. It's nightmare time. Void of love. It's a flipping nightmare. What are you going to do with the poor dog? Nina's in danger. We've got to save her. Come on, everybody. Fight. Um, Dragoon, go! Phantom Fang! Oh, shoot. I'm poisoning.
Well, I blocked it at least. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Go, dragon! Okay, Esther was blocking. Another one! I think I might want to grab it with Oliver, though. Yeah, that's not... Pitch block. No! Ah! Well, at least it's a heal, I guess. Hopefully that purifies. Roll ring. Um, I did not mean to do that, but oh well. Can I get another one? Provisions... Cappuccino... You. Provisions... Let's just toss one of these. Actually gonna do something, huh, Drippy? Or not? I saw him cast in the tidy tears. Burning heart! This should do a lot more damage than my dragon. Yeah. Well, two of us blocked it. Give me... There we go. I can't believe how many of these ultimate ones we're getting. Boom! Um... We did it! Except for Oliver. Cherub's wing. I wonder what that does.
Twinkle, twinkle. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Nina Carino, are you all right? Your Highness, get away from me. You disappoint ah. me. <sighs> Lord Shaddaa! Shaddaa! Where is he? Hear me, Queen of the Heavens. Huh? The power of huh? your nightmare huh? is as good as spent. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you are a sage. It would seem you are all too human. Perhaps I was wrong to choose you as my representative. Lord Shaddaa, I beg you, give me one more! Is it she correct? willingly join him? Shorn of the power of your nightmare. What use have I for one such as you? <gasps> Queen Kulan! Huh? huh? Kubla! Kubla! Ha! Sorry to keep you waiting. Kubla! <laughs> I see. The dregs of Xanadu arrive. What? How amusing. I look forward to seeing how much of a fight you put up this time. Do you think Queen Kulan is back to her old self again? Kublai, how dare you? That baseborn ruffian that a baseborn ruffian like you should presume to meddle in the affairs of a queen. Grahar! My apologies, your highness. I, I never did know my place, did I? The same goes for the rest of you. What business can your unruly kind have with one such as I? Charmin, isn't she? It looks like the Queen of the Heavens is still very much heartbroken. This looks like a job for you, lad. Can you do for the queen what you did for Tangri? Sure I can. I can mend her broken heart. There's no doubt about it. What her high and mightiness is missing is a spot of love. And that's what makes the world go round, ain't it? So it's love she needs, is it? Who do we know that's brimming with love? It's love you're after. I'm your man. You what? You heard me. No man has more love for a woman than I have for Kulan. You l love Queen Kulan? Never. <laughs> he loves her, he loves her. Now we know, now we know. I have Esther, please. Enough of this nauseating talk of love. The very word turns my stomach. Grrrr! <laughs> Thus speaks the fiery maiden I fell for. Tis music to my ears. Crikey, it must be love if he's happy taking that kind of abuse on the chin. Yes, what's the story between Kublai and Queen Kulan? I need to know. Calm down, will you? Never mind that now. All we need to know is that Kublai has to share some of the love in his heart with Queen Kulan. Grrr! Quite so. Have at it, lad. Uh, we need a ladle full of love from old pirate face. He's got flippin' hearts in his eyes, big softy. Drink. Yay! Thanks, Captain Kublai. Gee, that sure is a lot of love. That should be more than enough. Now we just need to give old Kulan a lend of it. I'm counting on you, boy. Use your magic to give her my love and bring her back to me. Curse you, Kublai. I have no need of love from a baseborn ruffian such as you. You know the drill, Ollie boy. Shovel that love her way and she'll be right as rain. Cram it down her throat. So is that last one going to be luck? It definitely looks like a horseshoe to me. But how? My my heart? Kublai? Your Highness, so you are back with us. I spoke so harshly to you just now. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Grrrr! Think nothing of it. Twas a pleasure to hear such rough and ready words from the mouth of a noble-born lady. Pray do not mock me, Kublai. I'm just glad Queen Kulan's not broken-hearted anymore. Too right, and I must say, I'm impressed with old pirate face by here. That's two servings of his heart we helped him ourselves to now. Ha! Huh, you're right! It seems as if his love for the queen is a little bit special. You call me queen? I am unworthy of such a title. 
The Skyborn Kingdom of Xanadu was torn from the heavens and cast into the distant ocean. I could not protect my realm. And then I came to this town and broke the hearts of the people. Truly, I am no queen. But your highness, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Listen to me. The people of Xanadu saw you as a wise and just ruler. You carried out your duties both as a queen and a sage, and trained countless wizards. Have you forgotten all the good you've done? Kublai, what you say may be true, but it does not excuse the harm I have caused. I have inflicted so much suffering. Your Highness, we met the ghost of a lady in Hamlin, a soldier who once served you. She was one of the people who died in Xanadu. She told us that so long as Queen Kulan was alive, there was hope for her people. She spoke of me? She spoke of hope? Ah, Aaron, look around you. The people of this town may be brokenhearted, but at least they are alive. Your Highness, let us return to the, this town to its former self. It may take time, but I know you can do it. Er, you may not be the queen any longer, but we can still stand beside you. You are not alone, and who's to say you can't rebuild Zanadu? Oh, Kublai, thank you. Thank you, everyone. You are right. I cannot give in to despair. I must become someone who can inspire hope in others. That is my duty. You aren't the only great sage who has led a, who was led astray. My father and Marcuson suffered too. Yes, and Oliver here helped them just like he helped you. And now you're all fighting fit. The battle against evil can finally begin in earnest. Wait a minute. There's something I've been dying to ask. I need to know how long something's been going on between Queen Kulan and Kublai. I mean, a queen and a sky pirate. It's so romantic. Gah, do you have to be so noisy? Nosy? Kublai is known and feared as the king of the sky pirates, but there is more to him than meets the eye. Grrr! Quite right. I am a man of many talents, and being the fearless leader of a band of swashbuckling sky pirates is just one of them. Kublai also served as a commander of the Xanaduvian Airborne Division, in which role he fought for Queen Kulan. Avast, I can speak for myself, you slack-jawed cur. You were a commander in Xanadu? Indeed, he was. Since the time of the Wizard Wars, Xanadu has avoided conflict. But neutrality cannot be maintained without significant military power. Kublai's forces formed part of that power. Oh, I get it. The lowly servant who ended up falling head over heels in love with the queen. That's cl uh, classic. Swain, do you always have to be so blunt? Arr, but it's true. I've watched over her since she was but a girl, and I can't say I don't feel for her. But I am a mere soldier, and there's naught can be done about it. Gee, that must be tough. But that was then. Things have changed. Changed? Changed how, exactly? Did you not hear my words earlier? I am a queen no longer. There are no ranks or barriers to keep us apart. C can it be? Do you truly mean? I have been quite clear. Please do not make me spell it out. I, uh, I... Come on, Kublai, don't be so slow. Flippin' heck, Mudden. Put us out of our misery, won't you? How many times are you going to make the poor woman say it? Still your chattering tongues, or I'll cut them off. You you stand before the king of the sky pirates. Gah! All right, all right. The benevolent grace of the queen of the heaven's heart has unlocked a story in the queen's wizard's companion. The Seventh Tale, How the Little Girl Became Queen The hearts of the people of Perdita have been restored. Young Nina, you must have been terribly afraid. I apologize most humbly for my actions. Do not worry, Queen Kalan. I am happy that you have become so kind and gentle. Everything in Perdita, it is so bright and happy now, we will never give in to Shadar. Your words are music to my ears. Truly, children like you are the bearers of hope, the hope of a brighter future. We who are old enough to be no better chose the path of cowardice. All we wanted was free from a fear to be protected from the truth. Well, what's done is done and all that. I just hope the rotter Shadar is not still hanging about waiting to pounce like. I know what I must do. My duty is to protect the people of Perdita from Shadar. I vow never to let his dark despair engulf this town again. I will make amends for all I have done. 
Gracias, your highness. Yer, then it seems I've no choice. I'll throw my headlot in with you, your highness. We'll protect this puny village together. No, Kublai, there are other duties to which you must attend. It's not only this town that must be protected from the dark pall of Shadar's despair. With your airship, you may travel freely around the wor our world. Do you understand what it is that I ask of you? Yar, ah, I do, at that only too well. No, but you only just got together! Kublai, though we may be apart, we will always be together, as long as we share the same goal. Grrrr! You're not wrong, your highness. You always did have a way with words. Looks like everything's worked out then. Oh, but before I forget, there was a reason we came here to the middle of nowhere. I am aware of this. It concerns Mornstar, does it not? Yes, we're, we're trying to restore its power. We didn't manage to find the three magic stones. We did manage to find the three magic stones, but even Markison couldn't reunite them with the wand. It was beyond Markison's power, you say? How could that be? Tell me more. Well, he speculated that it might be because we brought Mordstar here from the past. Hmm, a masked wizard who can manipulate time itself. I am most curious as to what his intentions could be, but I shall ponder that at my leisure. Our priority is to put a stop to Shadar's plan. I will perform the required ritual without delay. Tidy! Sounds like old Gulan knows what needs to doing to get Mordstar back in one piece, eh? There's Handy. Now, young Oliver. I shall require some assistance in this undertaking. Are you willing to help me? Sure, Queen Kulan. Just tell me what I have to do. A fine response. The ritual must be performed outside. When you are ready, come and see me. I shall be waiting. Look at all those hearts to rob. Uh, you. Look, have you seen a sight more beautiful than the evening sun from the mountain of ours? Gee, you're right. It sure is pretty, man. Flippin' heck, get a load of that. You don't see a view like that every day. Yes, drink it in, for this beauty is all ours to enjoy. From this mountain we see the sun sink into the sea each evening and bid farewell to the day. We watch each of the colors drain from the world as the night sky dons its starry robes. Its beauty takes my breath away every time. Wow, I bet that's really something. I sure would love to see it. Oh, but you must. You must. Nowhere in this world has a sunset that can match that of Perdita. Of that, I am sure. This lady sure got a lot of confidence. Well, is it any bloom and wonder? That's a backdrop and a half, man. Makes me look all epic and winsome, ain't it? Da, da, da. What are you giving me that look for? If you've got something to say, spit it out, man. Um, pardon me, ma'am. I was wondering if you could maybe help us out? Well, I'm not sure if I'm able to. What is it you want from me? Listen to you talk. Listening to you talk about the view, you s sound real sure of what you think. I was wondering if you might share some of your confidence with us. You wish to borrow my confidence? Really, you say strange things, but I see that you mean no harm. Please proceed. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, here goes. Hang about, Ollie boy. You've already got some of that in one in your locket, ain't it? Yep. Uh, does anyone here need confidence? Oh my God! You guys again? Listen, dear, don't you think it's time to go? We'll get no business done in an out-of-way place like this. That doesn't sound like you, darling. We've already always managed to make a decent living, no matter where we've gone. It's nice to see you both again. Is everything okay? Ah, it's you. Well, the thing is, my darling wife has suddenly decided that we don't stand a chance of selling anything here. I, I don't know. I just don't think I can carry on like this, going from one place to the next, only ever scraping by. I mean, even if we did get our dream shop off the ground, how long would we last? A year? A month? What if the customers stopped coming? You know, this looks a lot like... You've got it, Ollie Boy. Her confidence is in short supply, so are we going to do something about it? Hey, they do need confidence. They've traveled so far and worked so hard, we can't just let them throw it all away. How many times have we helped this pair out now? Anyway, you know the drill, Ollie Boy. Seems she needs confidence. Um... Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. It was the only thing in my locket, too. Here you go. Oh, I feel all warm and tingly inside. All my worries seem to have melted away. Come on, my darling husband. We've got places to be. And more, most importantly, things to sell. We'll be able to open our dream shop in no time. Good luck with everything. 
Oh, I almost forgot. Here's something for your troubles. Thank you for always being there for us. Tonic. I don't know how many cards I have left. Hi. You come from another land? This is our home. Put your idea is small, but we have big hearts. Hermana, I am so hungry. I am sorry, Hermanito. I will prepare dinner now. What do you want to eat? Oh, thank you, Hermana. Can you make stew again, please, Hermana? Is he your little brother, miss? You two seem to get along real well. We get along real well, it is true, but he is not my real brother. Really? Seeing you acting so kind, I was sure you must be family. As you see, our town is very small. We are all like family here. Everyone in this town cares for each other. We look after the young and the old as if they were our own family. Gee, a town where everybody treats each other like family it sure sounds nice. Yes, we are truly blessed. I love my home with all my heart. Oh, this girl sure has a lot of, whole lot of love, huh, Mr. Grippy? Um, excuse me, miss. We were wondering if we could ask you for a favor. A favor? Please tell me more. Well, um, we were wondering if you'd be kind enough to share some of the love in your heart. Ha! <laughs> Truly, people from far away are very different from us. Tell me, what must I do? Just hold still for a second. It won't take long. Thing that makes the world go wrong. Is it over now? I am not sure what you did, but my heart feels light. Hermana, I am so hungry. I will prepare the dinner now, Hermanito. Just like I say, share the love. And we're in this world, yep. Oops. Take heart. Thank you. Confident. Ay, 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 my heart, it tingles. Ah, uh, look, the sun, it begins to scent. Uh, please, do not miss the beauty about to unfold. I'm good. Hi, do you need love or confidence? Ay, 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 my poor back, it aches. Excuse me, sir, are you okay? Ah, do not worry about me, it's just that I am old. I have more aches and pains with each passing day. Ay, 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 it aches so. Would you be kind enough to help me, young man? You see, I cannot apply this, hmm? Oh, is something the matter, sir? It seems I have no more of the special compresses that I use to ease the pain. And there's nothing else you can use? Afraid not. I bought a number of compresses from a peddler some time ago, but like you, they did not last. They were a special kind of cold compress, handmade by a Tomta who resides in the old. Whenever I place one on my poor back, its icy embrace would swiftly soothe my pain. Without one, I fear I will know no relief. Can I ask a favor of you? Will you travel to Yule for me? Sure. I'm grateful to you, but remember that Yule is far from here. Take care. You must not endanger yourself on my account. Thank you, sir. I'm sure we'll be okay. You just wait here. You know, being able to teleport there kind of helps, too. You again? Oh, it's you. It seems our paths have crossed once again. Of course, I predicted you would be here before long. Gee, it's Derwin. Oh, it's you again. How come you're always waiting for us wherever we go? Because I want you to assist me with my critically important research, of course. So I guess that means you want us to find some more creatures for you, huh? I applaud your purposecacity. Now will you ex Yeah, sure. Nice, thanks you. Oh, what kind of creatures is it going to send us running off after this time, then? Lately, I've been conducting highly stimulating researches into the process of metamorphosis. But there are some creatures whose advanced forms I have yet to observe. There are three specimens I would very much like you to bring me. Wispula? Uh, okay. Lash Fry. And a Trumpy? Uh... This doesn't sound like it's... yeah. You're on your own. Still, with a combination of dedication and animal cunning, it's a statistical likely that you'll find them. Oh, and it goes without saying that it will not suffice. You have to bring them to them. You want to... Wait, the llama wants it? Has a quest for me? Oh, Mr. Llama. Uh, nature. Hello, I want you to do something for me. I am simply starving. Can't you hear my tumbling rumbling? Might you have a tasty hung a morsel for a hungry... Lapaca? Oh, so you want food, huh? I'm sorry, Mr. Lapaca, but what do you eat? 
My counterfeit hay, morning, noon, and night, but I have grown tired of its, frankly, one-dimensional taste and uninviting texture. Is the merest hint of luxury too much to ask? A little gourmet treat, perhaps? Gourmet treat, huh? Precisely. Would it be so wrong for a humble lapaca to sample the delights of a juicy babana from El Mamoon? How the heck he heard about babanas will never flip in now. Ahem, there was a merchant who once came here. Amongst his wares were fresh babanas. For since I first set eyes upon them, uh, they have captivated me. I simply must try one. Might you be willing to provide me with one? Bring me a babana and I'm sure I can find something similarly... Ah, similarly... Uh, I can't speak! Desirable to offer you an exchange. Getting tongue-tied here, literally. Thank you, my tummy is rumbling with anticipation. I'm pretty sure I have it. Gosh, it's a babana. I'm going to enjoy this. Om nom 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 nom. This is nom delicious. It's so sweet and soft and fruity, and it makes a change from hay, I can tell you. Look at him gobble it down. In babana heaven, he is. Ha, <laughs> yeah, he sure does seem to be enjoying it. Nom nom gulp. Ah, that was delicious, but having experienced such a gastronomic marvel, it is clear to me just what I've been missing. I must taste further delights. Still hungry, is it? Greedy, great, hairy lump. Let me see, what do I want to eat for my next course? I know, a glow shrimp. Hold on, Furface, how did a lapaca in the middle of a flipping mountains come to hear of a rare and exotic type of seafood that day? Eh? The merchants who come to Perdita often speak of strange and wonderful food. You don't think I can understand, but I am listening. This hairy blader has got an answer for everything. Well, I guess we could bring you a glow shrimp. Excellent. I shall wait here for said exquisite morsel. I say, it's a glow shrimp. How delightful. I can't wait to taste it. Om nom 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 nom. Uh, this um is nom exquisite. I've never tasted anything quite like this. It's tender and succulent and leaves a delightful tang on the tongue. So this is why people make such a fuss about seafood. Listen to the way this hairball is carry on. He's quite the culinary connoisseur, is Amy. He sure seems to know a lot about food. Nom nom gulp. That was a real treat. Now on to the next course. The next course. This ain't some fancy flipping restaurant, you cheeky so and so. Um, are you sure eating all this unusual food won't give you a stomach ache? I thank you for your concern, but I shall be fine. Now on to the next course. I would like to sample a black truffle from Hamlin. You what? Do you know how much those flippin' things cost? Cost? Oomph. I find this subject distasteful. Flavor is all that matters to me. But if you think money is more important than a hungry Lapaka's humble dream... Well, I guess we can bring you a black truffle. Do I have one? No. Here's the old compress. Hello. Ah, I cannot forget that dream. Um, what's the matter? It was yesterday. I had a strange dream. What kind of dream was it? It was like no dream I have ever had. There was a girl who looked just like me. She had my face, but she lived in another world. In my dream, the girl was planting flowers I have never seen before. Beautiful flowers. Gee, that does sound like a strange dream. It was, and I felt something too. Though I do not know how, the girl and I, we were joined. It is hard to explain. I reckon the girl she saw in our dream was from your world, Ollie boy. Your soulmates, most likely. What did you say? Does this boy really come from the same place as the girl in my dream? From another world? That's right, I come from another world, completely different from yours. Is it true? It is incredible! Can I ask you something? In case you ever meet that girl I saw? Uh, sure, I guess. What I want is a flower. I would like very much to have one of the flowers that the girl in my dream grew. If you meet her, please ask her for such a flower. Thank you, the flowers I saw. They were pink and in a pot. I have never seen flowers like them before. Sounds to me it's time to dust off a certain spell and head back to your world, Alley Boy. I guess we'd better go find a girl who looks just like her. And while I'm also at it... Because this is right here. Oh! I would have expected to be new up. Hang on a second. We have... Oh, no. This. We have three cards. I'm tempted to grab that one. Okay, get away. Let's find this girl's soulmate. He 
He's right around the corner. There she is. Hey, Mr. Drippy, this girl is? That she is, my lad. Her and the little missy by Perdita could be twins, mun. Soulmates they are, or I'm a donkey's dad. Well, you're a donkey's dad. Huh? What do you want? I have something to ask you. The flowers you grow. Do you have any pink ones? Sure, I have pink tulips. They're real pretty. You do? Do you think you might let me have some? I would, but they're all dried up. Huh? Dried up? Yep, look. Boy, they are kind of shriveled, huh? Mr. Drippy, is there anything we can do? What are you asking me for? You're a flippin' wizard, ain't you? How am I supposed to know if uh, you've got a spell that'll restore flowers to their former glory? Oh, of course, I can use magic to bring them that. Hello? There we go. Uh... Rejuvenate? Look at that, they're bloomin' bloomin'. They're beautiful, nice one, Ollie boy. You know, the flowers came right back to life. Wow, you're amazing. That was like magic. Like magic, she says. The cheek of it, that was magic, love. The real deal. Huh? Did you hear something? I thought I heard somebody yelling. No way, mun. She can hear me? How do you love nice weather we've been having, ain't it? Mr. Drippy, not now. Hey, did you hear a voice down near the ground there? Uh, no. Guess it could have been, must have been the wind. Anyway, about those flowers, could I maybe have some? Sure, but you have to promise to show me another magic trick next time. Trick? They're not tricks, mun. They're spells. Spells, you cheeky little... I showed her another trick. <laughs> Coming through. Hello. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is just like the flower in my dream. It's funny, I don't remember there being flowers like that in Motorville. I guess I never really looked. There is something very calming about flowers, do you not think? Thank you for bringing me the flower. Please accept this. That's six more stamps. That puts me at four card. Uh, do I go for the Oliver one? May we begin the ceremony, Oliver? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure, whenever you're ready when you are, your highness. Oliver, do you know of a spell named Rejuvenate? Sure I do. It turns back the clock for objects to before they were old or broken. Well, it is the memory retained within these uh, within objects that is being revived. Only the spell breach time allows time itself to be manipulated. Now, I believe that Rejuvenate should be able to restore the magic stones to the state they were in 15 years ago. Oh, I get it. That way they'll be the same as Mordstar from 15 years ago, huh? Indeed, I will need to combine the spell Rejuvenate with the ritual required to reunite the stone with Mornstar. Flippin' heck, wouldn't that be a bit of a stretch even for you, your highness? Your holiness? It will not be easy, and I understand why Marcuson balked at the challenge, but I believe that I can do this for you. Thank you, your highness. Now, without further ado, let the ritual commence. Is there a uh, spell that adds 15 years to something? I did it! The ritual is complete. What you now hold is Mornstar in its true form. Please consult your wizard's companion. The wand's power has restored new pages with new spells for you to use. Healing hand. Fortune's fool. Unleash. That sounds fun. Jeepers, these spells look so neat. The spell known as Unleash will prove very useful to you, I am certain. Doubtless you have done battles with those creatures known as Guardians. 
whose pure hearts have, had been broken by Shadar. When you defeated them, you received certain gemstones, did you not? That's right, they dropped them big jewels, ain't it, Alleyboy? These gems are symbols of the Guardian's gratitude, and contain a part of their spirit and life force. Jeepers! By using Unleash, you can channel the energies which reside in the gems, and call upon the Guardian's strength in battle. With their power at your command, you will be able to hold your own even against Shadar. Thank you, your highness. That sounds like it'll come in real handy. Heh, <laughs> that doesn't sound too shabby, does it, Oliver? Shadar will be quaking in his boots. You are now better to equip to face Shadar in battle, but a serious obstacle stands between you and any such ob encounter. Oh, here we flip and go. What is it this time? Shadar dwells within the castle of Nevermore. It lies to the north of here, beyond the Miasma Marshes. Should a careless traveler be engulfed by the Dark Miasma, for which the marshes are known, they will be lost forever. Wait a second. The Miasma Marshes? I... I... What is it, Esther? Have you heard of them? It's something my father once spoke of. He told me of a mist that was so dark that no light could penetrate it. The Miasma. He said that the only way to clear it was with the call of the Clarion. The Clarion? I remember you saying that we'd be the ones to play it again, Esther. Yes, the Clarion is a symbol of peace that was created by the three kings of this world. Now what was the rhyme? In Ding Dong Dell they carve full well that old Mamunia would, and bear it to Hamlin to make it sound so good. I am impressed by your knowledge, Esther, but then you are the daughter of a great sage. Oh, it's just a rhyme I learned when I was little. So if we give this clarion a good honk, it'll clear a path across the Miasma Marshes, will it? That is correct, and the first thing you require to make the clarion is the holy wood. That old Mamuni wood, it is time we paid the Khalifa a visit. Oh, but before we do that, was it in here, you want to say? Let's see. Uh, spring lock. Bottle of Nostrum. What's that? Fully restores MP. Eh. Alright. But with that, Escanites, we're going to call this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Escanites, share the love. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.